get some really great sounds by using two delay pedals at the same time, but it can get a little bit confusing sometimes, and certainly with the more complicated setups, it can create so many options that it's just a bit overwhelming. So here are my favorite simple delay combinations. If you do want to get into the more advanced delay stacking stuff, then this will be a really good primer. If, on the other hand, you want to just keep things simple, then just a few of these settings might be all you ever need. This first one is a really easy one to set up, and it's a nice approach if you want three very usable delay sounds for a range of textures without having to get into the messy world of tap tempos and all that, you know. Neither of these pedals have tap tempo features and for this they don't need it. I've set the DD3 for a short slap back delay with a good amount of repeats, so it's sort of like a short wash of delay, almost reverb like. The Memory Man I've set to a much longer, more coloured delay with a bit of modulation. It's a lovely sound where you can quite clearly hear the repeats with this one, you know, it's less of a wash of sound. When you combine them, the most prominent sound is really that longer delay time of the Memory Man, but with the added shorter delay, dynamically, it does really help smooth out the sound, so that it doesn't really bother me at all that that uh, longer delay time of the Memory Man isn't strictly in time. It's a very rhythmically forgiving delay setup, I think, that will work for pretty much anything where you just want a really big sound. This next one is the classic rhythmic dual delay setup where one pedal is set to play quarter notes or crotchets and the other pedal is set to play dotted eighth notes or dotted quavers. The classic example is Streets Have No Name by U2. And even though you can get this sound from two separate delay pedals, neither of which have to have tap tempo, it is a pretty difficult thing to do and get the delay times just right with a setup like that. A much easier option is to try and utilize any dual delay modes in digital delay pedals like this TC Electronic Flashback 2, where those rhythms are already set up, ready to go for you. Other pedals that have this feature are the Strymon Dig and Volante, um, the Keeley Halo, the Fender Mirror Image, um, the Catlin Bread Echo Rec, and I'm sure there's more. Uh, these kind of more rhythmic delays often work with a, a bright, crisp sounding delay. Uh, also, tap tempo is really useful to have, especially if you're playing with a band and you want to keep those rhythms tight. Um, digital delays are perfect, tape delays work well, brighter analog delays will work just fine, like the Memory Man sound. Um, darker analog delays, like let's say the Boss DM2, they'll work, but um, just be aware that rhythmic aspect of the sound will likely kind of fall into the background a little bit with darker tones like that. This next one I've done to try and show the benefits of using two separate delay pedals rather than just one dual delay pedal. Um, the main benefits being for one that you can uh, contrast the sound between the two pedals. So you could have one say uh, set up as a digital delay and the other set up as an analog sound. Um, or you could have one going forwards and one as a reverse delay. You know, it's, there's lots of options there to explore. The other benefit 
is that you could get more complex rhythmic divisions as well. You're not just bound to the preset rhythms in a dual delay anymore. For a contrasting sound, I've got the DD8 set to analog mode and the DD7 is set to a more standard digital delay sound. So there is some movement in the tone from the analog delay, but it's still kept pretty clear and rhythmic by the pristine repeats of the digital delay. Rhythmically, I'm using a three over two rhythm here. So I've got the DD8 set to play one, two, one, two, while the DD7 plays triplets. One, two, three, one, two, three. To create the rhythms, I've got the pedals set up with those divisions internally. Uh, so that all I have to do is tap the main pulse that I want onto both pedals at the same time and they should synchronize pretty well. If you do have the resources, having two multifunctional programmable delay pedals with tap tempo features on both of them set up right next to each other like this is a really great way to explore a variety of different uh, dual delay sounds. This next one is what I call an ambient delay sound. So really good for volume swells and anything where you want a really big wash of delay. You don't need tap tempo for this. The goal really is to find two delay times, one fast and one slow, that have very few meetup points that kind of interweave in quite a random way. Like that last dual delay rhythm that we had, the rhythms met up every three beats of, um, of one of the delays. With this, you want it to be a bit more scattered and random. Uh, adding reverb helps as well. For this one, I'll use two delay pedals set to the exact same delay time, or as close as I can get to it. So listen to how this clear digital delay mixes with that darker sound of the analog DM2. It stops the digital sound from being too bright and sterile, I guess, and simultaneously stops the analog DM2 from sounding too dark and muddy. And rhythmically, because there's, uh, there's no way to get the two delays exactly in time, there's this ambiguity about the attack of each delay sound as well, which is quite interesting. Um, it also adds a little bit of phasing to the tone as well. Mm -hmm. 